Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander GT. This one is finished off in a gray exterior, which looks great on the vehicle. Outside you can see you do have your tinted rear privacy glass, as well as your fuel cap right here, which has a really cool cover on it. Your chrome door handles, as well as your chrome mirrors on this one. You do have some more chrome trim around the belt line, and also your pinstripe running down the side. V6 badge up front. Around the rear, you can see your Mitsubishi and Outlander GT badges. This one does have rear parking sensors as well as a rear backup camera. Also is equipped with a power trunk. Just make sure the vehicle is unlocked and then double press and it will open. And then you can close it from the key or walk up and press the button. Coming up to this side, this one is riding on Falcon tires. They are 225, 55, R18s, so you do have 18 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes on this one. The tires are in great shape too, they're basically brand new. Same goes for up front, tires are perfect, I mean these pretty much are brand new tires. And as you can see up front, you do have projector headlights, fog lights, and front parking sensors on this one. We'll get in, it does include your Mitsubishi uh, keyless entry key fob with lock, unlock, and the trunk release as I showed, as well as panic. It also does have intelligent entry, just have the key with you, come up, press to unlock, and press again to lock. Inside, this one does have the black leather interior, full power driver's seat, and you can see everything inside is in great shape on this one. And this one is pretty much fully loaded too. Start, foot on the brake, and press right here. Go ahead and close the door. Have the key fob in the vehicle and you're good to go. Inside you can see this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel, your audio system controls, as well as adaptive cru cruise controls on the wheel. You also do have paddle shifters on the back for the automatic that this one is equipped with. Have your low gear, and then reverse. This one is equipped with a rear backup camera. On the door itself, it's all soft padded material up top in the GT. You have your tweeters for the Rockford Fosgate audio system this one has. Padded leather on the door and then storage below. All of your power windows, power locks, power mirrors, all of that. Chrome door handle and then your forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and power trunk controls. Also do have your headlight leveling adjustments, traction control on and off. And then your headlight controls are right here, as well as your fog lights. See the gauges in the middle? It's actually a very clean, great looking display. Your tachometer, you have a full color display in the middle and you can see this one only has 51,000 miles. On the dash itself, up top, it's all soft padded material. High quality actually, and the dashboard too, I really like the design. Cause it's a it's like a lot of older cars where everything is kind of towards the driver the center stack a little bit is angled towards the driver and this side definitely is and it's a design you don't see in a lot of new cars this day but it's really nice um you can see if you have your gauge dimmer settings right there start stop button in the middle this one is equipped with navigation you can bring all of that up on the display and it's very easy to use it's a very nice system like i said too this one does have the rockford fosgate audio system which it really does pack a punch. I'll show you the subwoofer in the trunk later in this video. But all your controls around there, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, uh, satellite radio, Bluetooth audio streaming. For your CD, you can press right there. And there's your CD player, as well as you do have some uh, SD card slots. One you can play music off of, and the other for your navigation. Down below you have the passenger uh, seatbelt indicator, hazard controls, eco mode on and off, and your passenger airbag um, indicator. Dual zone automatic climate control, right here for the driver and passenger. Fan speed and everything else, air conditioning, it's very simple to use. And all of this is surrounded in a very nice piano black trim. And then you have the wood grain on the sides, which meets up with the doors. Um, down below, you have your power trunk, 
on and off right there, as well as this slot where you can insert the key. Say if the key dies or something like that, it will start the vehicle from there. Storage, and then a power outlet. Two cup holders up front, your shifter back here, as I already showed. Then you have your all-wheel drive controls. You can go between eco, normal, snow, and lock. Parking brake. And then heated seats for the driver and passenger. Padded stitched leather armrest in the middle. Storage inside of there. With a 12 volt outlet and USB port. The seats are very comfortable. They're actually a pretty high quality leather too with the perforations. And they look and feel great. Up top, manually dimming rear view mirror. Your interior lighting controls. And then sunroof controls up here as well. I mean, overall, this interior is a pretty nice place to be, especially for the money for one of these. You get a great amount of features, and it's a really nice to drive car. But we'll go ahead and step out, unlock everything, driver's side automatic window down, and pop the hood. Inside the back seat, everything follows through. Material-wise, you do have some padded leather on the door. To access the third row, just open right there, and it will slide forward. You can see your third row seats, which do fold down. You also have some storage, and there's that subwoofer I was talking about. Also cup holders on the other side. Seat goes back just like that, and you can adjust the recline from right there. And stepping in, I'm 6'2". And in all honesty, it's a pretty comfortable rear seat. I can sit behind myself perfectly fine. I have plenty of space. You have back seat pockets on each side. The seats are also on rails, so you can pull up right there and slide them back and forth. Right here, two cup holders, padded leather armrest. And then you have your interior lighting controls up top. Now, as I showed earlier in the video, this one is equipped with a power trunk. Just press right here, and it will release it. Inside, you have a great amount of space. You can see both your carpeted rear floor mats. Underneath of here, more storage. A little storage on the side, and then your subwoofer over here. The third row does fold down. You just have to remove the headrest. and then fold it down from right here. And just like that, you can see your space with the third row up versus with the third row down. And once you have it up, go ahead and put the headrest back. Nice and simple, just like that. And to close it, just press right here. seat from this side everything follows through you can access the third row in the same fashion just move that forward and you do have your cup holders for the third row up front you do have a manual passenger seat and inside of here this one does include your state inspection certificate as well as all the original owner's literature even the uh, backup disc for your infotainment system right there. And up front, projector headlights, fog lights, and then under the hood. This one does have Mitsubishi's three liter V6. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic as well.
bring the driver's side window back up. Cut the vehicle off right here. Move the key, and it will chime remind you to put the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.